I'm Dr. Grace Alag. Uh, I'm a pediatrician and an allergist. And I'm a mom to a one and a half year old baby girl. My baby is very, very active. So she loves to explore. She loves to um, grab things, move around. And she, she explores everything. So she wants to be outdoors, indoors, everywhere. And yeah, she does all these activities. As a pediatrician, so I'm very aware of the illnesses around, so I'm very strict with the cleanliness and uh, I'm very paranoid. Same thing as a mom, so I'm very OC and planning as a mom. Okay, hand, foot, and mouth disease, so actually this is a mild, uh, contagious illness. No? Uh, it's a viral infection caused by the Coxsackie virus. So um, it's composed of um, fever, rash, so these are the symptoms. So in the mouth, oral sores, and the hands and the feet. So um, hand, foot, and mouth disease or the Coxsackie virus spreads through person-to-person -person contact. So it's mostly via ingestion, especially our kids, right? They always put things in their mouth and their hands, they always put it in their mouth. So, um, it's ingestion of the secretions, so nasal secretions, yung mga sipon, no? the throat secretions, the, the fluid from the blisters that comes from the hand, foot, and mouth disease, and also through respiratory droplets, so when we cough. It's common in the child care centers, no? where there are a lot of children or the play areas because you can also get it by touching the objects. For a couple of hours or days, it may live uh, on the surfaces of the toys. It's really important that we clean the areas, no? especially the public places where kids play. Yes, actually, uh, it's more common in those less than 10 years old or more in less than 5 years old. So you manifest the symptoms. Children tend to build uh, antibodies to it as they grow older. However, still, uh, adults and adolescents can still get this. Yes, they can get it, especially if they're exposed to people who are infected. And it's very common during the summertime. We see a lot of cases in the clinics. The first sign is actually fever. Initially, there are no lesions yet, so they, they just present with fever. So the incubation period for the disease is around 5 days. And then you develop fever after 1 to 2 days. You may develop oral sores. So initially, you won't really know how to differentiate it with the other viral illnesses because it's just fever. And the most contagious time of hand, foot, and mouth this is the first week in the mouth and then uh, you may develop rash after another one to two days so they present usually in the palms in the soles no the feet and uh, at the buttock sometimes usually they're just red uh, red blisters however i see some patients that complain of itchiness yes uh, actually it depends no person to person so from the start that you develop fever until all the lesions are gone it may take days to weeks. Kids whose lesions resolve within three weeks. The blisters have to be resolved, so the pat dried up na siya. Because I mentioned earlier that the fluid from the blisters, so they can infect other kids as well. Usually, it begins with fever, so the first thing to do is supportive. Treatment, so you give fluids, uh, paracetamol for the fever, and then uh, if you see other symptoms, uh, it's better to seek consult. No, this is a mild illness, but the problem is if they develop painful oral ulcers, so they tend to refuse eating or drinking. So you can offer them cold drinks or cold food, also soft diet uh, instead of giving their regular food if they refuse to and there are some things that we can give to relieve them of the oral sore so there's cooling effect now, what's important is you practice strict hand washing and then you disinfect the areas no especially if you're taking care of a child having hand foot and mouth disease so we always advise this No, actually, so you don't have to limit their intake. If they can ingest anything, they can eat anything, so there's no problem with that. Activity, so actually, you just have to isolate them, but you don't have to limit their activity. 
We prevent them from going to crowded places, to the play areas. Mothers should know uh, when their child has this, so please don't bring your child out already. Actually, this is a very mild viral illness, so there's no specific treatment for this. We just give supportive measures. You watch out for our signs of dehydration, especially for those with painful oral sores. Otherwise, it's really very mild disease, but it's very contagious. That's why there's a lot of cases.